Hi everybody, this is Sona here and I want to talk to you about negative people. Negative people drain you and you want to get away from negative people like you want to get away from them like a plague. You want to cut them out of your life. And I know you may have family that's negative and what the hell, goddamn tow truck. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I got ADD today. Um, but anyway, I had to cut my mother off completely. She was just so negative. She was always complaining about this, never grateful for what she has. And when people start to tell you they're struggling, you're responsible for your life. So that means you're responsible for that struggle. You know, obviously you have to take the highs with the lows, the good with the bad. And sometimes when things get bad, it helps you get a sense of clarity in what your direction is. And why I'm saying this is because I'm at that point. I know where I want to be and where I want to go in life and um, and I am in the process of making those changes now I journal I write down everything I'm grateful for everything I have now and I don't have much I'm not this rich guru that you know I don't have a, a website that I'm doing coaching eventually I will do coaching but I'm not this self proclaimed guru and the law of attraction I just know the law of attraction the way I know it and back when I was younger I used to just things just used to come out of thin air for me and I know I've let people program me and reprogram me and break me down break my self-esteem down and I had to come to a point where I met now said enough is enough so you know, I invite you to follow me on my journey to self-discovery. But when it comes to negative people that don't have your best interest at heart, you need to leave them alone. They're like poison. Because, you know, people, negative people drain you of your energy like a vampire. They're like a psychic vampire. And you want to remain in the highest vibration possible. And you're human. You're not going to always be at a high all the time. I'm sorry. That's not humanly possible. And don't let nobody tell you that. Um, but you want to try to, if you're in a bad mood, you want to try to reverse that as quickly as possible. So you can manifest the things that you desire and the things that you want. Um, what else I want to say? Oh, yeah. Um, you want to smile a lot and you know what this is coming to LA it's it's I can walk and smile at somebody and they look at me like I'm crazy you know I come from a place where we speak to each other on the street we have a conversation with strangers here in LA no that that doesn't happen and that, that kind of has broken me down here as well but you know I'm not gonna let that get me down um, I'm actually going to transition to a different place in California I am not gonna reveal that yet but you when I you uh, can't talk today when you would know when I move and I'll tell you um, I've already been to that place and that place makes me very 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 happy and my vibration is like through the roof and I tell you when I was there it was like things just start coming to me so easily and I was like oh my god this is where I need to live and um, but I'm gonna let you guys follow my journey but again eliminate negative people out of your life that doesn't have your well-being or your well interest in heart at all just let them go stop watching negative TV stop watching the negative news this Trump shit you know what I, I, I don't even pay attention to that you know um, get out there and vote I'm gonna say get out there and vote I actually registered to vote twice you know I had to change my address but I am registered to vote I'm thinking about voting early but I I am a lazy because you know here in California you can vote in somebody's backyard which I'm not used to that to my I could provide a polling place I don't want to stand in nobody's driveway I'm used to being in the Southeast Coast where we go to a school and vote, okay? I'll stand in line at a school, but going to somebody's driveway, when I had that experience, I was like, oh my God, what is this? Really? So go out there and vote. Um, I'm just going to say I'm voting for the lesser of the two evils. 
I'll reveal who I vote for after I vote. Um, here in California, we have all these propositions that I'm really confused about. So, I gotta figure that out too. But in the meanwhile, I'm keeping myself in a positive state of mind as much as possible. And I'm staying away from negative people. I have cut off a lot of people here in my life. And I'm just not gonna deal with a lot of crazy people. I don't have time for flakes, nuts, fruits, whatever they call it. They, I heard people call LA a cereal bowl. <laughs> And you know what? It's kind of true. So, but I have met some good people here. I am not denying that at all. Um, most of the people I've met that has been in my corner are not from LA. They're not LA natives. So, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not too crazy about living here. And um, and believe me, that's gonna change very soon. So, I leave you with this: do some house cleaning in your life. And you will know when you do that house cleaning, it will change. When you make that decision to change, it's going to change for you. Like with me, it, things are changing by the moment for me. So, thanks for letting me get on my soapbox and my ADD and all of that. And um, see you soon. And subscribe. I need some subscribers. I need somebody to communicate with me. Subscribe. Bye. Thanks.